It's a nightmare scenario. Your daughter makes it into her dream college, but she can't get student loans because she already has tens of thousands of dollars in debt? This happens more often than people think. Mm -hmm. Her family just had no idea that Crook stole her social security number when she was a child. Fox 13's Your Money investigator Kate Beery learned how you can prevent an identity theft from sabotaging your child's future. I was just really shocked. This Missouri teen did not file his own taxes, but at 17 years old, the IRS sent a document alerting his family that someone had filed taxes in the teenager's name. Jennifer Shields is his mother. I got really scared because I'm thinking, well, somebody's using a social security number for employment. She asked that we not share her son's name because he is a victim of identity theft. After reporting the fraud, she learned that his credit profile had a report of wages in another Missouri town. This place where she said he was working is an hour and a half away from my city. I was like, there's absolutely no way, you know. Why do criminals prey on children? I believe criminals target children because it can go undetected for so long. Latina Benson helps Memphis families repair their children's credit after discovering fraud. So I've seen where parents have contacted me where their two-year-old has received a 0% interest rate for a Chase credit card and they're two. She told me parents might not discover fraud until a child turns 18. Around 1 million children each year are victims of identity theft, according to this study. Your family is most vulnerable when you are filling out forms online, filing taxes, or leaving your child's sensitive documents out in the open. How often do children see their social security numbers stolen? It's in record numbers. Eva Velasquez is the president and CEO of the Identity Theft Resource Center. It's a nonprofit that connects victims with support and resources. Many children don't even know that they're victims of crimes. And it puts this huge roadblock in front of them so they can't progress in their life until they clean up this mess that was created by a thief. Velasquez has met high school grads forced to delay college because they are denied for student loans. They are now permanently behind their peers, permanently. Fixing the problem might be complicated, but preventing it is not. I'm going to encourage every parent that's listening to immediately after hearing this to go and freeze your child's credit. You'll want to create your child's credit profile with the three major credit bureaus, Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. Then freeze your child's credit. You might have to mail in documents, but it is 100% free. It's worth the time and effort. This mother of six warns families across the Mid-South to do the work now. A credit freeze today could stop a criminal in his tracks tomorrow. I don't know, I'm at a loss because it's just, I'm worried for his future because I don't know how that's gonna affect him. As her son prepares to graduate high school, Shields worries about the obstacles that lie ahead and hopes the fraudulent wages don't impact her family's food stamps. Following your money, Kate Beery, Fox 13 News.